Hello and good evening to all of you. And uh, this is your host for the day, Prasenjit Biswas, coming live. Today, we are going to discuss about uh, option strategies. Like uh, in the earlier webinars, uh, we discussed about two-legged option strategies and right from the basics, right? So today, we will just like take it forward and we will look at some slightly more complex strategies and you can say the advanced ones like the iron flies and the condors so uh just start with the presentation and can i have the ppts yes i think uh, it is visible to you okay great right so um Today's topic basically uh, revolves around uh, the iron flies, the condors, and uh, the various types of four leg uh, spreads, right? So before I uh, proceed any further, uh, let me just uh, share my thoughts on how we intend to, um, you know, uh, proceed ahead with the webinar today. The mode of communication will be both in English and Hindi. So that's one. Second. In case if you have any problem with the video quality uh, of the stream, then maybe you can just uh, switch, I mean, go to your settings and maybe uh, switch to a higher resolution, right? So these are the two things. And in the end, uh, I mean, uh, you can share your thoughts and if you have any questions, you can text them in the message box and I'll surely try to uh, revert, okay? After the end of the presentation, right? So, <clears throat> Jaisi ki maine kaha, today we will be discussing about uh, what are iron flies, butterflies, condors. So these are very, you know, seemingly very complex names. Dekhi, sabse pehle to mein ye batata hoon ki naam jo hai, wo thik hai, yaad rakna important hai. But if you understand the concept, you know, from the fundamentals, agar aap koi concept ko ekdam basic level se samjhenge na, to naam bhi aapko aise hi yaad ho jayega. So it's not going to be very difficult and I'll be taking you through at a very slow pace and uh, make sure that you understand everything. Okay. So just a recap, like uh, this will help uh, me to build up from where I ended. So in the earlier webinars and videos, we talked about basically two like strategies like straddles and strangles, right? So if you have straddles or strangles ke concepts agar clear, hai, so, ये आपको उसके ऊपर आप you can build from uh, that. So, today's webinar is just basically an extension uh, over uh, what we had already discussed regarding strangles and straddles. फिर भी uh, for the benefit of our audience, एकदम नच्छल में एक brief में बता देता हूँ. Long straddle or long strangle, short straddle, short strangle. ये चार term है. Basically straddles and strangles. So, what are Straddles. Basically, straddles, it means that you are either buying or selling a particular strike price, both calls and puts. So you select a particular strike price and depending on the view of the market, you either will buy both the calls and puts or you will sell both the calls and puts. So if you are buying both calls and puts, so that will be called as a long straddle. Agar aap dono call put kharitte hain, ek koi particular strike price ka, to usko hum long straddle bolte hain. अगर आप वही एक पर्टिकुलर स्ट्राइक प्राइस का दोनों कॉल पुट बेचते हैं तो वो शॉर्ट स्ट्रैगल कहलाएगा राइट स्ट्रैंगल क्या है स्ट्रैंगल में फर्क बस इतना है कि वी डू नॉट सिलेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्राइक प्राइस रादर वी स्ट्रेच द स्ट्राइक प्राइस हम थोड़ा सा अलग-अलग एक नीचे का पुट और ऊपर का एक कॉल ये दोनों के या तो हम खरीद लेंगे या तो हम बेच देंगे ऐसा हम क्यों करते हैं क्योंकि स्ट्रैडल में अगर मैं एटीएम कॉल पुट खरीद रहा हूं वहां पे कॉस्टिंग हमारी ज्यादा होती है राइट तो उसको कम करने के लिए हम क्या कर सकते हैं कि थोड़ा शिफ्ट हो सकते हैं लेफ्ट और राइट में है ना थोड़ा नीचे का पुट ले लिया और ऊपर का कॉल ले लिया सो बेसिकली द आईडिया बिहाइंड द द स्टार्ट स्टार्टल इज दैट यू बाय एन एटीएम कॉल एंड अ पुट ऑप्शन एंड यू एक्सपेक्ट द मार्केट्स टू मूव इन वन डायरेक्शन यू आर बेसिकली न्यूट्रल बट इफ यू फील दैट स्टिल the premiums are too high and you feel that there is uh, like a, a big range to come. So what you can do is you can shift your strike prices and just go a bit left and right and you can buy 
a slightly uh, you know uh, an OTM put option and an OTM call option. So that's long term strangle. So costing come hoy jata isse. Okay. So now uh, this was just a recap. Now today we will straight away go to some practical examples. So I'm just going to switch my screen to an Excel file and I'll be showing you how it works. So this will be like a practical thing. Okay, so far so good. Let me just check. Yes, you are able to see the Excel file. Right. So on my screen, as you can see, on the right hand side top, upper right hand side, you will be able to see a payoff diagram. Okay. So depending on the strategy that we build, we will be able to see a payoff diagram. In the bottom below the graph, we have typing boxes and uh, we can we can uh, feed the inputs there. Okay. So let's start with the very basic thing. Okay. So sabse pehle, jase maine bataya, let me build a uh, straddle. Okay. So yahan pe jase kya hai ki you will, let's say, uh, I mean, I have picked up the prices of yesterday. So uh, there is an option chain that I have just picked up the prices here. Okay. And I have the list of calls and puts from 17,000 to about 20,000. So this we have taken call and put in the day of the day. Okay. On that basis, we will try to make a strategy. So if I have a... सिंपल अगर मैं स्ट्रैडल का सोचूं तो स्ट्रैडल क्या है स्ट्रैडल में आप एक सिंपल एक पर्टिकुलर एटीएम स्ट्राइक प्राइस को बाय करते हैं तो कल जो है येस्टरडे मार्केट्स क्लोज्ड एट 18000 मार्केट क्लोज्ड एट 18420 दिस वाज द क्लोजिंग प्राइस है ना सो 18400 हमारा क्या हो जाएगा एटीएम स्ट्राइक प्राइस हो जाएगा सो दिस विल बी आवर एटीएम स्ट्राइक प्राइस करेक्ट सो लेट्स जस्ट बिल्ड अ स्ट्रैडल सो हम क्या करेंगे 18400 का पुट भी बाय करेंगे और 18400 का कॉल भी बाय करेंगे तो ये कैसे है यहां पे मैंने करके रखा है सो बेसिकली दीस आर द स्ट्राइक प्राइसेस ये बॉक्सेस एंड दिस इज द क्वांटिटी ट्रेडेड तो ये प्लस 1 यहां पे हमने प्लस 1 डाल के रखा है सो दिस इज द पेयर डायग्राम नाउ दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट अभी इसमें हमारा क्या हो रहा है 18400 का पुट ऑप्शन 125 रुपए है और कॉल ऑप्शन 149 राइट सो रफली आपका 275 का कॉस्टिंग आ जा रहा है सो द द कॉस्टिंग फॉर द स्ट्रगल इज अबाउट 275 नाउ हाउ कैन आई रिड्यूस दिस कॉस्ट एंड द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाई विल आई डू दिस सो एज आई सेड इफ यू बिलीव दैट मार्केट्स आर गोइंग टू मूव इन वन डायरेक्शन वन पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन व्हिच डायरेक्शन आई डोंट नो बट आई नो फॉर श्योर दैट uh, markets is market is not going to stay where it is and it will move in one particular direction so kyunki humko direction ka andaza nahi hai humko khali itna hi malum hai ki market ek bada move lega iske liye isko market neutral and long on volatility hum bolenge hai na ab isi ke upar aap agar simple sa dekhe ki agar mere ko costing kam karni hai na to hum kya kar sakte hain hum ye niche mein 18200 ka ek put option usko hum yahan pe ek bech sakte hain similarly ऊपर में हम 18600 का एक कॉल ऑप्शन अगर उसको भी हम ऐसे बेच दें तो देखिए ये दोनों तरफ हमारी कॉस्टिंग कम हो जाएगी सो so, पहले जो हम ये दोनों पे कर रहे थे व्हिच वाज 275 अभी उसमें से हमको यहां पे 60 और ये 62 रुपए के करीब 120 रुपए लगभग दोनों को मिला के हमारा जो है कम हो गया तो रफली आपका जो कंबाइंड जो प्राइसिंग हो गया वो 275 से कम होकर लगभग 150, 152 के पास आ गया, right? अब ये जो मैंने किया कि simple एक call put मेरा buy था यहाँ पे, उसके सामने में मैंने बस एक यहाँ पे नीचे का put खरीद लिया और ऊपर का एक call बेच दिया। अब ये जो strategy है, this is called long iron fly, ठीक है? तो long iron fly ये जो strategy actually जो है ये evolve होता है स्ट्रैडल से सो so, स्ट्रैडल से एक्चुअली और भी एक और स्ट्रेटजी है जो इवॉल्व होता है एंड इट इज जस्ट द ऑपोजिट व्हिच इज द शॉर्ट आयरन फ्लाई तो शॉर्ट आयरन फ्लाई में हम क्या करेंगे शॉर्ट आयरन फ्लाई में हम ये बीच वाला बेच देंगे जैसे कैसे क्योंकि 
तो वापस से हम करते हैं एक बार इसको देख लेते हैं अगर मान लीजिए मेरे को लॉन्ग स्टाइडल नहीं मेरे को शॉर्ट स्टाइडल करना था तो आई एम डूइंग दिस इन केस ऑफ अ शॉर्ट स्टाइडल आई विल सेल बोथ एटीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड कॉल्स एंड पुट्स राइट नाउ दिस इज यू नो समथिंग विच गिव मी क्रेडिट तो ये इसमें हमारा प्रीमियम जो है इनफ्लो आता है अगर हम खरीदते तो उसमें आउटफ्लो होता है इसमें हमको प्रीमियम तो रिसीव हो रही है लेकिन प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि इसमें जो लॉस है ना वो अनलिमिटेड हो जाता है करेक्ट तो उसको प्रोटेक्शन देने के लिए हम क्या कर सकते हैं हम ये कर सकते हैं कि हम ये नीचे का पुट ऑप्शन एक प्रोटेक्टिव यहाँ पे खरीद लेते हैं और हम यहाँ पे ऊपर का भी एक कॉल ऑप्शन खरीद लेंगे राइट तो ये हमारा जो शॉर्ट सैडल था उसको अगर हम थोड़ा सा प्रोटेक्शन दे देते हैं बाई बाइंग फार आउट ऑफ दी मनी पुट ऑप्शन एंड एन फार आउट ऑफ द मनी कॉल ऑप्शन तो उसमें हमारा लॉस जो है वो अनलिमिटेड नहीं होगा वो लिमिटेड हो जाता है करेक्ट हालांकि बड़ा हो सकता है डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट स्ट्राइक प्राइस यू चूज बट इट इज लिमिटेड इट इज नॉट अनलिमिटेड क्योंकि पहले जो अगर हम सिंपल लॉन्ग आई मीन शॉर्ट स्टडल अगर करें तो उसमें हमारा लॉस जो है वो अनलिमिटेड हो जाता है क्योंकि प्रीमियम जो हमने रिसीव कर लिया दैट इज द मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट बट द डाउन साइड रिमेन्स ओपन सिंस वी आर short on the options so in order to protect that what we can do is we can short these options and parallelly buy these protective options so i hope this is clear and this is called short iron fly so short iron fly long iron fly they are just the opposite but they all come from the straddles right now what if we do not uh, keep these two central strike prices same yahan pe view ye hai ki agar hum long straddle kar rahe hain to humko lagta hai ki market mein volatility badhegi aur prices will move in one direction agar hum short kar rahe hain chahe short straddle kare ya agar uh, short hum iron fly karte hain to usme hamara view yahi rehta hai ki market will remain in this range volatility we are going to be short on volatility and time value will be in our favor but we expect the markets to remain in a range correct to yahan pe break even points kaise aate hain break even points bahut simple hai aap jo premium aap uh, receive kar rahe hain jaise yahan pe you are receiving 150 the one this is the opposite jo pehle aap de rahe the abhi kyunki short kiya hai to you are receiving to this 150 rupees plus your this central strike price ye niche ka break even ho jayega so niche ka break even dekhiye 18248 similarly the upper break even point will be this particular strike price plus the premium that you have received so you have received about 150 152 so this makes it 18400 plus 150 which is 18550 uh, on the higher side as your break even points so these are the two range within which if market remains mere ko paisa banega i will be in profit but beyond these points i will uh, actually enter into a loss but that loss will be capped that loss won't be unlimited correct so that loss will be only capped to the tune of 50 rupees in this case why 50 rupees because you see the difference between these two strike prices the central one and the outer ones the central and the outer is 200 rupees so out of these 200 rupees the whole gap is uh, practically unprotected because on the downside let's on the downside my i'm short in this put option and i'm long on this put option 18400 i'm short put and 18200 i'm long so by shorting 18400 if market goes down my losses will start to increase but since i have also bought 18200 i will get a protection but my protection will start only below 18200 right so within these 200 points i am practically unprotected so the gap between these two strike as i said is 200 points so this will be less the amount that i have received so 200 gap minus the premium that i have received so i have received about 50, 152 rupees so my maximum loss will be 48 correct now just in case if i did this 18100 instead of 18200 put option if i let's say bought 18100 put option and 18700 call option 
correct so similarly here also i would have received 275 and in turn i would have had to pay only 80 rupees so net net my credit would have been 195 rupees so what will be my maximum loss here so same calculation the gap is 300 points minus 195 the one that i have received so my maximum loss will be roughly about 105 rupees similarly on the higher side the same formula applies the strike gap less the premium that you have received so 300 is a gap less 185 that you have received so that that is how the uh, maximum loss will be defined and for the break even again just repeating uh, to calculate the break even you pick the central strike price and you add the amount that you have received so on the higher side your break even will be 18400 plus 195 which makes it 18595 and on the lower side it will be 18400 minus 195 rupees which is 18205 right so this was all about uh, short iron fly and if i just reverse just again repeating i would have bought the central ones and i have sold the outer ones this will be called a long iron fly right because i am i am i am buying basically i am buying ye jo long or short ka jo word aata hai ye aata hai from the concept ki whether you are paying premium or receiving premium okay uh, Now, there is one more benefit to this from the standpoint of margin. Let's say in case if I, uh, if I just did this one, I mean, if I just sold the central strike prices, 18400 call put man a base diya, and it did not buy any protection. So this short saddle would require roughly about, I mean, 1,25,000 to about 1,30,000 margin on nifty okay but if i just bought these protective options on the outer side what happens is you see you just uh, you know follow the graph you know the graphics changes right from this is where the losses are unlimited it is going down in either direction the loss amount if market goes down also then also there is a big loss if market goes up also then also there could be a unlimited loss but if i buy a protection my losses are capped see the outer payoff diagram becomes flattish. So, which means that I cannot lose unlimited money. And therefore, if I, uh, you know, uh, uh, look at from the exchange standpoint, then since this strategy does not have an unlimited uh, risk proposition, the margin requirements will be drastically lower. So, it is something around 50,000 if I'm not wrong. So, roughly on Nifty, this sort of a strategy would require only 50,000 right uh, so this is what it is and now let's look at uh, something different let's say if i instead of the same central strike price if i just shift a bit to the left and to the right instead of i'm just keeping the outer strike price is same okay my protections remain same but what if if i just instead of the same central uh, strike price i would move to a bit of left and to a bit of right so in that case what happens is I just follow this i am just shifting the strike prices and you see your payoff diagram from flat i mean uh, like a triangle it becomes flat so what this means is that basically you are expanding your range right uh, of being profitable so in this case your break even points were 18204 uh, and 18595 but just by shifting 100 points so if i just shifted let's say for, to 18300 and 18500 my break even points have also increased by 10 points on each side so it's like a 20 point range increase correct so why will someone uh, do this this is something which uh, i would say that let's say when market volatility is very high okay and you feel that 
by selling the central strike price your you know your range of profit can be uh, very shallow so you want to increase your range uh, of being profitable and uh, you are okay to compromise on your profitability a bit but you want safety okay so what will you do you will increase your range of the break even points so maybe let's uh, just shift a bit more let's say if i just did this 18200 and 18600 so what here i am doing is i am selling basically 18200 and 18600 calls and puts and i am just buying a protection just above 100 points or below 100 points right so you, you see my break even points have moved even further to the left and right but the downside or the trade off is that my profitability has also come down my max profitability my maximum profit potential has also come down so there is always this trade off between safety and profitability agar mere ko safety zyada chahiye to profit kam hoga agar profit zyada chahiye to mere ko safe usme kam rahega right so ye jo strategy hai na jahan pe maine central strike prices ko thoda sa hata diya beech mein se so yahan pe hum pehle kya kar rahe the 18400 kar rahe the yahan pe bhi 18400 tha aur कॉल के लिए पुट के लिए दोनों के लिए 18400 था है ना सो इफ आई यूज अ स्ट्रैंगल इफ आई यूज अ स्ट्रैंगल इंस्टेड ऑफ अ स्ट्रैडल फॉर द सेंट्रल पार्ट इट बिकम्स अ कंडोर नाउ सिंस आई एम यूजिंग बोथ कॉल्स एंड पुट्स सो इट बिकम्स एन आयरन कंडोर ठीक है सो बेसिकली इफ यू थिंक ऑफ इट पहले मैंने बताया ये हमारा स्टाडल हो गया स्टाडल शॉर्ट है या स्टाडल लॉन्ग चलिए यहाँ पे हम स्टाडल लॉन्ग का देख लेते हैं लॉन्ग अगर हम यहाँ पे ये आउटर बेस दें तो ये हमारा क्या हो गया आयरन कॉन्डर हो गया आई मीन आयरन फ्लाई हो गया लॉन्ग आयरन फ्लाई करेक्ट बिकॉज आई एम लॉन्ग ऑन द सेंट्रल स्ट्राइक प्राइसेस and i'm paying a premium similarly if i just create create a triangle if i do not start with a straddle rather i start with a triangle so 18300 and let's say 18500 triangle i am doing so i am going long on these two okay so here also i am paying premium and my loss is limited now since i am paying about this one is 88 and this one is 98 so i am paying uh, about 188 rupees so if i think that i can reduce my cost i need to reduce my cost so in that situation what will i do i will just simply go a bit lower maybe an 18100 put option and i will sell it one lot and similarly i will go to 18700 and i will sell one lot here also so this 42 rupees and 37 rupees is something which i am getting back to reduce my cost okay so it all started from the uh straddle right and then i sold the outer ones to reduce my cost so strangles se hi aapka ye iron condor jo hai ye yahi se evolve hota hai now this is an example of an long iron condor okay so condor means different strike prices and the word uh, you know butterfly will mean the same strike price the central strike price will be same since we are dealing with four leg strategies so we we will have you know one leg two outer legs and uh, maybe one or two in the center okay and two legs in the center for these uh, uh, strategies now i'm just repeating once again if there is a same central strike price if the central strike price is the same for the call and put right then it is a, a, a butterfly and since i'm using calls and puts therefore it will be iron butterfly so the word iron comes from the usage of both calls and puts okay now if i do not use the same central strike price if i stretch the central strike price so then in that case it will be called as a condor and since i am using calls and puts both so therefore it will be called an iron condor now whether long or short that will depend 
whether I have received premium or I have paid premium. So here in this case, I have chosen two different strike prices, which is uh, a, 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 a triangle. Now, on top of it, I have bought, I mean, uh, I have sold the outer ones to reduce my cost. So since I'm using calls and puts, so it will be iron. Since I'm using two different strike prices, so it will be condor. And since I am buying, which means I'm paying premium, right? So there is a net outflow. So it will be long iron condor, right? But if I just flip the situation and instead of this, if I did this, if I sold the central one and if I just bought the protective ones, so again, same thing, because of the call and put, it will be called iron. Because of two different strike prices, it will be called a condor. And since I'm receiving premium, so therefore it will be called a short iron condor. I hope this is clear. So in case of iron fly and iron condor, the only difference is that in condors, we have two different strike prices. And in a fly, in an iron fly, it will be the same central strike price. And the word iron means simple. Call and put both are being used to devise the strategy. Correct. Okay. So now let's move on to a different style of strategy, which is where we are not going to use a mix of call and put. Right. यहाँ पे हम कॉल और पुट को मिक्स कर रहे हैं अगर हम मान लीजिए हमने कॉल और पुट को मिक्स नहीं किया हमने जो है एक ही टाइप का ऑप्शन यूज किया ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस ऑल ओवर अगेन ठीक है लेट्स से जस्ट इमेजिन अ सिचुएशन देयर इज ऑल द कॉल ऑप्शंस ऑल द फोर लेग्स आर कॉल ऑप्शंस जस्ट थिंक ऑफ इट लाइक दिस Now, let's say if I just uh, do a bull call spread using an in the money option. So how can I do a bull call spread using an in the money call option? Maybe I will buy an 18,000, uh, let's say 18,200 uh, call option. I will buy and 18,400 option i will sell so this is a normal bull call spread correct i'm buying a call option and selling a call option higher strike price so therefore it's a normal bull call spread now with this let's say if i mix another bullish strategy uh, i mean uh, a, a bear strategy but using calls so here i am long and since it's a market neutral strategy so i have to use a negative strategy or a bearish strategy also. So how can I devise a bearish strategy using the calls? Simply, I will devise a bear call spread, which means I will sell the ATM call option and I will buy an OTM call option. Now, effectively, if you think of it, what I did is basically the 18400 call option I sold twice. You can think of this part as a bull call spread and you can think of this part as a bear call spread. So this part on the right is a bear strategy and this is a bull strategy. So if you mix both of these, so let me just delete this one. So on the right, uh, can you see that this is a bear strategy because if market goes down, you are profitable, right? So it's a typical bear call spread. And if I delete this part, it's a typical bull call spread. So if I mix both of them, it becomes a call, a call butterfly. So this is what is known as a call butterfly. Now to write this in a simple format, what I will do is basically this is what I'm going to shift to the here. So here 18600 will come. And instead of writing this one lot, I will write two lots. Sorry. Effectively, this is a combination of a bull call spread 
and a bear call spread right so in short a long butterfly is where i buy an in the money call option and i will sell two lots of atm call option and i will again buy one lot of otm call option so effectively this will be a debit strategy this will be a debit strategy because you see if i have received uh, i mean 149 into 2 so roughly about 300 rupees i have received but i have paid 283 plus 61 so roughly about 345 rupees is what i have paid and out of which 115 to 2 is 300 so effectively i am paying 45 rupees so since i am paying right since i am paying uh, 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 i mean um, the premium so this will be called a long call butterfly so this is known as long call butterfly so long the lo word long comes from because i am paying premium correct and if i receive premium this would be short okay the word butterfly comes because i am using same central correct so this is what is for you to just you know kind of uh, remember and uh, so that you don't mix what is the name of the strategy and what will be it so basically what is the view now in case it i mean it looks uh, very similar uh, uh, to that of a uh, 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 short iron fly so this again i mean short iron fly is where we uh, actually used a put option of a lower strike price instead of a call and uh, we used four legs so this was again a put this was a put but of 18 400 and uh, this was uh, i mean so sorry this was a all this was a call of 18 600 this will be sell this will be buy so this diagram this is what this is a short iron fly correct so this diagram is very similar to that of a long call butterfly so don't get confused with the word long and short yahan pe hum butterfly ke case mein hum usko uh, I mean, short bull rain or yaha pe hum usko uh, long bull rain. So, ye jo cheese hai, is me confusion aapko uh, ekhi angle se aapko clear ho jayega. Wo ye hai whether you are paying premium or not. If you are paying premium, it's a long. If you are receiving premium, it's a short. Simple. Okay. And as I said, the words come from the other things like if it's a same strike price and uh, uh, mix of call and put, it will be called an iron. And if it is only same strike price, central one, and I'm using similar type of options, let's say I'm using only calls, I'm not using mix. So it will be a butterfly, correct? So going back to the butterfly strategy again. Yeah, so this was it. I'm selling the central strike price of two lots, but I'm buying this one. So effectively, since I am paying premium here, so it's a long call butterfly i can even use uh, put options also i mean the same can be done using put options also so if i did this put option also the payoff diagram looks very similar and conceptually it is the same so uh this is a again an example of a long put butterfly long put butterfly why long because i am paying premium see there is a net premium outflow of 47.8 rupees 47 rupees right so since i am paying premium it's a long 
and since i'm using put options so it's a long put butterfly why butterfly because it's only one type of option it's only puts there is no call right okay and what if i did the other thing let's say again going back to the calls so let's do this again let's say i feel that market will remain range bound okay and uh, so range bound let's say if i think that market will remain uh, within 18400 only so i think i'm using calls so strike price 18400 let's choose a different strike price let's say 18500 okay so this is where i feel that market will uh, you know have the central point so what i do is i sell two lots of calls and here again in long call butterfly i will need to buy an in the money call option so let's say i am buying 18400 uh, 18300 call option so this is what i buy and again i buy call option 18700 one lot right so effectively now i am paying 51 rupees so why at all i will do this type of a strategy so here the view is that market will remain in a range it will not move so in case if market remains within 18350 and 18650 i am going to be making money it is only above or below the range of the break even points i am going to lose तो अगर मार्केट में मेरे को लगता है कि मार्केट एक ही जगह पर रहने वाला है तो आप ये इस टाइप का लॉन्ग कॉल बटरफ्लाई या पुट बटरफ्लाई दोनों आप कर सकते हैं करेक्ट अभी यहाँ पे देखिए आपका जो प्रीमियम आउटफ्लो है वो 51 है अगर हम इसको पुट में कन्वर्ट कर दें आपका ऑप्शन का प्रीमियम देखिए लगभग वही सेम ही है इट्स नॉट चेंजिंग करेक्ट अगर चेंज हो जाता तो यहाँ पे आर्बिट्राज आ जाएगा इसके लिए द कॉम्बिनेशन हैज टू बी सेम नाउ यहाँ पे आपके ब्रेक इन पॉइंट्स क्या थे 18,350 एंड 18,650 इवन इफ आई डिड अ पुट दिस थिंग लॉन्ग पुट बटरफ्लाई देन आल्सो माय ब्रेक इन पॉइंट्स डोंट चेंज वो सेम ही है नीचे में 18,350 एंड 18,000 650. So it does not matter much uh, whether you choose a call or a put, but it's important to mention what you are using as an instrument. So the important part is that if you are paying premium, it's a long strategy, correct? And if you are selling, uh, I mean receiving premium, it's a short strategy. Whether it's a simple butterfly or an RN5 or an RN condor, just uh, uh, you know try to keep this in mind. Okay, now. let's reverse the positions so instead of selling the central one let's say i think that market will move by a quite a margin so what i will do is this just the reverse i will actually buy the central uh strike price whether it's a call or a put let's take call options change it so here 18500 is what i feel uh is the atm and market will not remain in this range and it will move away from this so in this case i will actually buy the central one two lots and sell the outer ones so why do i sell the outer ones it is only to reduce the cost because if i did not sell these two then i will be paying two lots 98 rupees each so i will be paying about 198 rupees correct 198 rupees this is almost 99 so in order to reduce this 198 rupees costing i am uh, actually selling the in the money and out of it now since this is a credit strategy if you see it is a credit strategy right you have received 198 and into 2 i mean 198 into uh, i mean 98 into 2 you have uh, received and effectively you are paying uh 248 uh, you are receiving in return right so this is what 
creates a differential of 248 receive and roughly 200 payout. So roughly 48 rupees is what I am pocketing. So since I am getting inflow from this strategy, since I am getting an inflow, so majority of the inflow comes from this in the money call option, right? So this 211 is the major chunk uh, of for the uh, inflow. And additional 37 is what I am getting. So in total 248 is what I am getting and 200 is what I am paying. So 52. Now since I am receiving premium, it will be called a short call butterfly. Short because I am receiving premium. Right. So these are the basic strategies. I mean, uh, uh, I think uh, this will be like, you know, kind of a, a brief uh, introduction to these strategies and uh, maybe help you uh, to understand a bit more. Now let's go to the slides once again. And can I have the PPT once again? Yes, thank you. So, just to help you to remember this, like, so butterfly, please remember that only one type of options are used. Either it's a call option or a put option. It does not make much of a difference. So either it will be a call or a put. That's number one. Second, the central strike price will have two lots, either a buy or a sell, right? As I said, it's a combination of a, a bull call spread and a uh, bear call spread. So if that is what you are doing, then it will be called a long call butterfly. Now, long or short, it depends. If I received a premium or a paid uh, or I paid a premium, okay. So, in case of a like uh, you know uh, uh, a long call butterfly, you are paying premium butterfly because same type of strike price and the word uh, condor. Uh, I would say is just an extension of that where the central strike price is different. So if in case my central strike price, whether it's a call, uh, you know, using only call options or in case of a iron where I'm using calls and puts in case, if the central strike price is different, then it's a condor. That's second point to remember. Third point is when do I use the word iron? Iron means you are using both calls and puts. Right. And so if you me mix these uh, two, three things, then see on the bottom, there is this uh, butterfly. So butterfly means other calls and put with same central strike price. Condor means the central strike price is divided. It's not the same. Now, if you mix iron fly, what will this mean? Iron will mean call and put both are being used. And since uh, it's fly or a butterfly, then it will mean the central strike price is same. It's not divided. But if I split the central strike price, then it will be called an iron condor. Okay. Now, short or long, that depends whether I have received a premium or I have paid a premium. If I have received a premium, if I have received a premium, that it will be a long. Okay. And if I have paid a premium, I mean, uh, I'm so sorry. If I've received the premium, then it's a short. And if I'm paying premium, it's a long, simple thing, right? So what is the other thing? Uh, in terms of the profile, just remember whatever be the name of the strategy. If your payoff diagram looks like this, if your payoff diagram looks like this, it means that you are neutral in the direction first of all because either you are making money on the downside or on the upside correct so you are neutral uh, in terms of the direction but you are long on volatility you think that market will move in one direction and it will move big way so yahan pe is type ke diagram mein main yahi hai ki aap market ke upar kaun sa direction hai ye aapko clear nahi hai but all that you can say is that it will move big way and this is the in this sort of a payoff uh, strategy, 
थीटा जो है ना वो टाइम वैल्यू आपके अगेंस्ट में काम करता है इट विल बी अगेंस्ट यू ओके इफ यू सी अ रिवर्स फ्यू ऑफ डायग्राम लाइक दिस हियर द गुड थिंग इज दैट यू आर अगेन न्यूट्रल ऑन द मार्केट आप मार्केट के ऊपर अगेन यू आर न्यूट्रल बट यहां पे आप you are short on the volatility you expect a range bound market you don't expect uh, expect the markets to go in uh, big way in any of the direction market jahan pe wahi pe ek range ke andar mein rahega hai na and isme achhi baat ye hai ki theta jo hai time value jo hai wo aapke favor mein rahega is type ke pay off mein theek hai so with this uh, i would like to conclude and uh, uh, we can have a round of question and uh, session okay so there are lot of questions which have come in uh, any strategy for intraday uh, see first of all let's understand this there is no good strategy or a bad strategy in options the whole idea is that you have to be able to predict the underlying right so your option strategy depend on the underlying to agar aapka underlying ka hi reading galat hai to aap koi bhi strategy lagayenge wo galat hi hoga so the view on the underlying has to be first you know uh, right aur uske piche humko kaam karna hai ab jab hum apne view uh, agar hamara sahi jata hai to vehicle hum kya use karenge kis type ka strategy use karenge that comes later okay so in terms of intraday mein kya strategy acha hai well it depends again what type of a market is that if you feel that uh, it's going to be a range bound market uh, and it's not going to move uh, beyond the point to wahan pe aap obviously koi इस टाइप का करेंगे जहां पे आपका शॉर्ट यू नो स्ट्रेटजी होगा वेर यू आर बेसिकली सेलिंग द एटीएम कॉल ऑप्शंस एंड पुट ऑप्शंस यू नो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लाइक अ शॉर्ट आयरन कॉन्डोर और मे बी अ शॉर्ट आयरन फ्लाई ठीक है बट प्रॉब्लम ये है कि यू आल्सो हैव टू नो कि कब मार्केट अचानक से बड़ा मूव आ जाए जैसे कल हुआ आज हुआ है ना सो वहां पे योर स्टॉप लॉसेस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज देर इज अ फ्री लंच अगर ऐसे ही अगर कोई एक स्ट्रेटेजी होता जो हम ट्वेंटी फोर बाई सेवन कभी भी हर समय हम करते रहेंगे पैसा बनता रहेगा तो तब तो फिर बात ही खत्म है ना तो देर इज नो फ्री लंच देर इज नो स्ट्रेटेजी विच इज एन एवर ग्रीन स्ट्रेटेजी यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन टू यूज वॉट ओके ठीक है सो uh when does plan their exits okay so i think the question is about uh, you know the exit part the risk management part so the best part is that in the four leg strategies okay in the four leg strategies the risk is limited the risk is well defined because if you have bought a protection on the uh, let's say you are selling the in the money uh, atm calls and puts okay like an uh, iron fly so you are selling the atm calls and puts but since you are buying the protective calls and puts on the outer side also so therefore your risk is also limited there cannot be an unlimited uh, downside so whether it's an iron fly or an iron condor where you split the the central Hi everyone, we are facing some technical issue. Uh, just give us two minutes. Plus, present it will be back soon. Sorry for the inconvenience caused.
Yeah, I'm so sorry uh, uh, for the technical glitch. I mean, uh, the internet connection dropped off and uh, it got completely lost. So, uh, yes. So, as I was saying that, uh, uh, you know, there is no such good or bad strategy. It all depends on uh, uh, the reading of the underlying. Okay. So, that was it. Now, going to the next question. Uh, Excel sheet. Yes, sure. Uh, we can share it with you. And in fact, uh, in the earlier videos also, we had shared the same sheet. So this uh, will be done again. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, this question comes in. Margin, yes, uh, there is a spread benefit. I mean, in case uh, of, like, as I said, if in case your risk is limited, if by default in your strategy, the risk is well uh, defined and it's a limited strategy, then the margin requirement from exchange standpoint also will be very lower as compared to any uh, strategy which is short in nature and where the risk is unlimited, right? Okay, so I think... Uh, uh, let's call it a day and uh, I'll be very glad to conduct a few more ses uh, sessions like these. Uh, so we'll surely share the Excel sheet with you and you can just drop us a, you know, uh, uh, a request mail and uh, we'll be surely reverting back uh, on that. Okay. So thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Uh, thank you.